Sip 7, Xerxes. Xerxes? Let's hear it. Xerxes inherited the Achaemenid Empire at a time of crisis and guided it to greatness. The fires of war Different led skins. to eventual defeat and a renewed Gotta focus uh, on economic seven, and cultural enrichment. Xerxes arrives with two personas to reflect his life of war and coin. A warmonger and a tradesmaster. Yeah, makes sense. As the King of Kings persona, chaos the, the is right your there. comfort. Discover power in pressuring nice. your opponents into yeah, if violence. Yeah, conquer, that's pretty good. Take what you want early and often for rewards that compound through the ages. Oh, okay. As the Achaemenid persona, you want total trade control. Build an empire of commerce where coin is power. And watch the economic rewards multiply over time as right. you outgrow and outbuild other empires to establish cultural dominance. It's pretty nice. Consider pairing Xerxes with Persia in the Antiquity Age. Cool lady. In the Exploration Age, Mongolia will help you continue a campaign of endless war. Or the Abbasid Civ can lead you to even more riches. Or choose a different path all your own. But whatever you build, remember to build something you believe cool in. Wonder. Okay, a couple of things. Or that's that's it. That's at the end, right? Is there something else? Okay, it's so a couple of things. Uh, the wonder looks absolutely great. Love it. Love the blue. Looks absolutely amazing. There's a there's some sort of a lake here. I saw. I'm like, what is this? It looks very strange. Of course, the different skins. You know. Um, let's just read this. So basically, you like trading. You love war. That's nice. Plus three combat strength. I don't know how much this is in like the grand scheme of things you know is plus three good or is like you know is the total like 10 or is the total like 30 you know there'll be like a huge difference um plus 100 this is what i was like looking at it says here plus one settlement limit per age so there's a settlement limit currently like you can only have like what like four settlements or what what's what is the settlement anyways i'm not even sure in settlements he did not found okay if he countered are you saying like cities are settlement cities that makes sense right settler settlement but what wait hold on a sec so are you getting like a limit of cities per age like you started your first age you can only do like three then six and nine that would be interesting that's new because again before you had like no limit right um this is like a cool looking map i like this i often say like i don't like the way the maps look like too many uh like housing like brown brown housing and stuff but this actually looks good when it's a bit like more you got a bit more space and then everything has been um you know inhabited it right plus one kill uh, culture per gold per age or unique buildings that's pretty nice so again you have like a lot of gold you you your economy is doing really good you're really strong in combat that's pretty nice right and then when they when she said that you know you can go into different civilizations i think i know what they're i think i finally like understood what they're going with this where they're going with this is that you currently have a maybe like a um, military plus gold sieve and then you can branch into either like pure military with the mongols or like a pure like economy with the um i forgot which city the other ones you know, and kind of like you can focus on that or keep going with what you currently have and have a mix of both. I think that's where they're going with this whole, like, mix thing, you know? Um, so, yeah, it looks pretty cool. Well, it looks pretty nice. Thank you for watching. Peace.